Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and boy do I have a gruesome little trophy here to show off. No, it's actually not. That's just one of the parts for the new War Soul Demon from One Page Rules. Now, One Page Rules, I'm sure if you are into 3D printing, you've probably stumbled upon their stuff, and if you haven't, for shame, uh, because they really give you an awesome deal on a monthly basis and have all sorts of cool rules. But they have really been going all in on fleshing out and then expanding upon the armies that they've made rules for for their various, just like the name implies, one-page rules. So here our War Soul Demon is really just a big monstrosity that you can use for just about any kind of demonic presence on the tabletop. And if you've ever listened to me ramble on this channel before, and if you haven't, again, shame on you, uh... I love me some big giant demon monsters. So you can see when his head here is almost the size, if not larger, than an average 28 millimeter figure, we are in good territory here. So why don't we grab the rest of the parts. So this has actually got a couple of different options. I really like this like thick, heavy armored shell he's got going on here. And obviously I need to do a little bit more cleaning, but that's okay. Got like the chains hanging off of there. So we have the basic torso. That's always going to be the same. We have the legs, which are actually a solid piece, which was quite surprising. The torso is hollowed out. I might have seen a filled option, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, nice, easy, simple, sturdy construction there. Big tail. Now the tail, unfortunately, is the one piece that has not been as cooperative as I would have liked. Every other piece pretty much dry fits perfectly. I mean, it looks like it does, but it's just kind of jammed in at a weird angle. Whee! Please don't break my Inquisitor, you giant demon, you. I gotta say, One Page Rules has really stepped up not only the quality, but just the ease of putting these guys together. I've been with them almost since day one when they started their Patreon, and so I've got quite the impressive backlog of models that have been painted and printed from them. And i got to say, this has been one of my favorites. Now, as I was saying, there are a couple of options. He has a cannon arm, and then we have a couple of close combat weapon arms as well. So he has an axe, a sword, or big giant mauling demon claws. And most of those options are available for the right hand as well. However, the right hand is the only hand that has the options for the gun hand. There were two different position shapes. I thought they were pretty similar. The right hand is only going to be able to hold close combat weapons and then you don't want to actually just mirror these as you can see. This is just the actual hand whereas this has the whole forearm up to the elbow. So they do have pieces that are designed to fit in there. Let me get some glue on this guy so you can see how impressive he looks. Me playing around with dry fitting him so much, everything finally popped off, but I hadn't actually glued him, and I was thinking I could do this the whole video in just one shot, but I guess not. So let me get it fixed real quick here. We'll put some glue on him. There we go. All glued together. So I gotta say, he is quite the looker. Obviously, if you're gonna run like a corn type army, I think it's going to be a very obvious choice. Could use a little bit of gap filler there, but I'm too lazy and I'm not going to bother. The tail was a little bit of a challenge to fit. You can see there's a little bit of a small gap in there underneath for those of you sickos that want to see, you know, uh, demon crotch. There's not a whole lot going on down there. It's not the most flush fit. Could I have possibly sanded things down to make it a better fit? Yeah, did I bother? No, not really. I think it's going to be okay, but he, he's a pretty good size. I don't know if this is going to be like the colossal choice for their demon army, or at least like the war demons. Obviously, we'll have a variety of demons, uh, but grabbing at least the first of the colossal monsters that One Page Rules has put out, we've got the big uh, centaur thing here that I still have yet to paint, obviously. He's got a little bit of a size difference on him. I could totally see having multiples of these guys, you know, if you're going to run some kind of big demon army. Especially given the fact that you can have multiple weapon options. Grabbing a few other demons. And that's the thing, though. 
they just keep putting out more and more monsters for these armies. You got a lot of different things you can play with, and I think proxy into other games or just using one page rule stuff. Joining us here. Still not as big as my ridiculously large flame demon from Mini Monster Mayhem. I had to think about that for a sec. And he's about on par with my Outworld Thrall from uh, Arch Villain, whose weapon sadly broke. Curious. What size base? I got a hundred millimeter. Is that about right? Actually, a hundred millimeter just looks peachy. So, I don't know. Maybe possible bloodthirster option if you wanted to go that route. I mean, I think most fantasy RPGs as well. There's always a use for big bad demons. Uh, there's no whips or chains or fiery blade options if that's something you're interested in. But then again, considering this is just one of many options that One Page Rules has for their demon type armies, something to consider. So, big, nice, chunky model. Uh, weapon options available. I did not care for the swords. I thought the swords were way too fancy, like overly ornate in the wrong spots. So, it didn't really click with me. And usually I like swords. But I figure with a war demon anyway, a chopping axe is probably the better choice. Here's a. a Nice scale comparison with another uh, demon. This one being from my my creature caster. My my mind just went blank. Actually, a better option. Grabbing a few more of our painted friends here. Another of the creature caster war demons I've got laying around. I can't remember his name. You can always go check him out. And maybe a more familiar face. So that should give you a good size indicator. I guess the only downside is there's no winged option available if that's something that you need, at least from the get-go. I guess if you're into modifying the files and stuff and playing around with things like that, eh, that might be something to consider, but I'm kind of tired of all the winged demons, and I want some just big, burly ground-type ones. So this guy's really cool, in my opinion. I'm thinking I might end up doing a mirrored one with just big claws. Uh, I don't know when I'll get to that. As you can see from some of the other unpainted samples that we just showed off, I am kind of lagging in my giant painted demon queue there. So hopefully we will find a spot for this big guy soon because I really liked him. Everything printed off nicely, no print failures. I got to say that when it comes to one page rule stuff, I uh, never really had any issue. Some of their early models were little teeny tiny parts. It was just more of a pain in the butt to put together. But their big stuff, it's like butter. It really is easy to put together. So if you're interested in giant, spiky, spiny, choppy, toothy demons, by all means, go take a look at what we're... Ugh, one page rules have got going on. I can't speak today. All right, that's my cue to stop talking, obviously. So this has been High Lord Tamberlane with obscurities and miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon and we have those linked down below if you want to grab one of these guys yourself all right bye bye